Hello everyone, welcome back to Thief 3. Well, I'm really excited because I figured out what was wrong. That's right, I can actually continue playing Thief 3. I was really pissed off because of all the technical issues and I was really disappointed because I really wanted to see, I really wanted to keep playing the Thief series and see how it compared to the previous ones and experience more thievery and garretness. And I thought I wasn't going to get a chance to do that. But yeah, I found the issue and I discovered the issue when I uninstalled the patch and tested the quick saving and quick loading and stuff like that and found that even with the patch even with the patch off, it still had uh, trouble. It still crashed all the time every time I made a level transition and every time I loaded a game. And then that's when I realized something. The crashing <laughs> is caused by fraps. It explains everything. I, I went to, the, like, the first thing I did when I was having these problems is I went back to the thread for the patch. You know, expecting someone else has probably had this problem, right? So maybe there's a fix. I could find no one with this problem, which I found very, very suspicious. Because typically, any problem you're experiencing is going to be experienced by a bunch of other people. But in this case, no one reported the same issue. And this explains why, because most people, the vast, vast, vast majority, don't record themselves while playing. So yeah, it's Fraps. With Fraps not recording, it can be on. But with just as long as it's not recording, it doesn't crash. So that's the problem. I don't know why. I've never had Fraps cause an issue with a game ever before. Um, but yeah, that's the problem. So all I'm going to have to do is stop recording and start recording right after every load or level transition. Which is slightly annoying, but not that big of a deal. It's really not that much work to sync up the video to the audio. In fact, I'll even tell you how I do it in just a minute, after I start the recording again. So yeah, this is where I was last time. At this bizarre, foggy, level transition thing. Yeah, I'm guessing the game didn't, f like the whole level didn't fit into the memory of the consoles it was released on. So I'm guessing this is probably a result of it having come out on consoles. They didn't have enough memory, so they had to subdivide the level into different areas, which is unfortunate. It's, it's kind of annoying, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, I'm going to stop recording and let's go. Do you wish to leave this area and enter inner quarters? Yes, please. And now that you're staring at a black screen, I feel the duty to entertain you. So, how about I sing a song? Why don't they do what they say? Say what you mean. One thing leads to another. You tell me something wrong, I know I listen too long, but then... One thing leads to another. Okay, time to start recording. There. And did you hear that noise? That loud clack? That's not me having a fetish for smashing my keyboard. That is in fact how I sync the audio. It's so incredibly simple that I don't know how I didn't think of it when I first started recording. It actually took me a little while to figure out how to sync up the video to the audio in a consistent and easy to use way, but that is how I do it. I smash the key really loudly. Um, that starts the recording. So loudly that it's going to, you know, get pretty... Uh, when you're looking at the audio volume, it's going to be clear. Everything, you know, everything before it will be like silence and just a flat bar. Everything after it will be just a flat bar. But it's so loud that it creates a spike. So when I look back at the voiceover track, which is recorded separately in Audacity, I just look for that spike. And then I line the beginning of the Fraps video up to that sound. So it's perfect. You get, you know, the audio is synced to within like one or maybe two frames of accuracy, which is perfectly good enough for anything you do. As long as you're not trying to sing along to a song. As I've experienced in the past, it's not quite in sync enough for that. But for anything else, it's perfectly fine. So that is the secret to syncing audio to video for me, smashing the key. You know, something I find really strange about Thief 3 over the first two ones is the fact that when you're crouched, you seem to not make any footstep sounds at all. I'm pretty sure there are literally no footstep sounds. Listen. Th that's someone behind me making noise. 
Hold on. Okay. Yeah, there is literally no noise for my footsteps, which is... It's weird. I mean, I understand they'd be quiet, but I think they should be at least there, shouldn't they? It's a bit strange. It makes me kind of feel like I'm a floating camera rather than actually a person walking, even though you can look down and see your feet. Which, by the way, I think is a nice change. I, I really think that having your body actually physically appear in the world when you go to look at your limbs really helps with feeling part of the world and not like you're just a floating camera. I think probably the game that did like self-awareness of your limbs the best is probably Mirror's Edge. They did an incredible job with that. I remember, even though I didn't like the game overall, I remember one of the really cool things they did is that if you got up to a wall like this, your hands would come out and they would be pressed up against the wall. You know, like you're ready to spring off or something. So your hands would actually come out and they'd be touching the wall. It was so cool. It was such a small detail, you know. It's the sort of thing you don't need to have at all, and it doesn't serve any gameplay purpose, but it was really, really nice. Alright, what have we got? Why am I... Okay, that's strange. When I don't move the camera, I'm getting 21 FPS. But when I move it, now I'm getting, like, 30 to 50. What? Eh, whatever. Yeah, the performance in this game is bizarre. It doesn't make any sense. Like, right now I'm getting 19 FPS. What? <laughs> that makes no sense at all. And, as it usually is, the map is completely useless. In fact, what am I even doing? Oh, right, Lord Ember's Chambers. To open the portcullis. You know, I was about to lean over to look down, but I just remembered that when you lean, you actually move and can fall off. So let me be careful with that. Huh. That's probably going to make a lot of noise to operate, so I'm just going to leave that there. Just put that out. Wouldn't mind some bread. Can I eat it? I don't know why it's flashing. Why is the bread flashing? Let's put the bread down. I think it's possessed. You know, I don't think leaning against the door actually does anything. I'm pretty sure you can just hear sounds through doors, whether you're leaning or not. Milady Elizabeth is a proper lady. She attended Lady Pollock's school for young ladies, and she can write in both ancient brilliant and modern prinkish. Hmm. Well, I guess that's something. Your Lord Ember's knowledge of the world is limited to the names of his ancestors and equine diseases of the mouth. I don't like the way she looks at me. Like I've been sneaking about or something. Well, you are a bit unkempt. It's them stairs. She has me up there five times a night changing the torches. Oh, indeed. I shall inform Milady of your displeasure. Don't you dare. <laughs> well, 10 out of 10 voice acting would listen to again. Some serious Emmy Award winning uh, voice acting there. Don't you dare. He says it with such passion, like he's he really fears for what he just said to get out. Don't you dare. I'll be very cross with you if you tell that person about that thing I said. Yes, I will. <sighs> she looks kind of like a bit of a stick figure. She looks downright anorexic. It's 
Sorry, ma'am. Don't mind me. I'm just stepping over your face. Don't worry, the rats will keep you company. They'll make a nest inside of your... Oh, sorry. Sorry. I think I might have just dislocated her neck. Alright, this... Okay, so this is the thing going up. Here? Yeah, so I think this is going to lead to Lord Ember's Chambers. I think so. Oh my... Alright, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to keep putting them out. That's just a waste of water arrows. Having a fine night there. Having a good night. Are you comfortable? Do you like this job? Well, I think you're about to like it a bit less. Hmm. I know he walks. When's he gonna move? Come on, I know you're gonna move. Why am I getting 18 FPS right now? That is so weird. My FPS improves when I move the mouse. Moving it, yeah, now it's up to like, it's going between 30 and like 50. But as soon as I stop, it goes down to 17 to 18. Alright, well I guess he's not gonna move. Oof, can't, oh. I love ragdolls. That is so satisfying. I know I've said that a bunch of times, but I'm going to keep saying it because it's really satisfying. Yeah, the game's all... Yeah, the FPS in this game is schizophrenic. I'm sure even you can see the choppiness at some points. Yeah, so far the lockpicking is so predictable. Look, it's just like left, right, right, left. And of course this one's on the right. Also another thing that I really like about Thief 3 is the fact that the doors will actually push you when they open. Compared to the first two thieves where practically every single door I ever opened got stuck on me. Because as soon as it, as soon as it hits you, it just stops moving and then you have to close it and open it again. So I'd rather be pushed than have to do that again and again. Huh. Where does this go? Okay, I see two pathways, but one has a torch and one does not. I guess I'll go the way that's darker. Oh yes, I think this is his bedchamber. It looks very royal. There's even a note. Whoops. Good job, Garrett. You're an expert item placer. Alright, what's in here? Let me guess. It's all the way to the left. Ooh. Okay, This. so this one's not too predictable. Alright, where are you? There we go. Hello. Gilded Helm. Stacks of money. That is a note of some sort. Personal stores. <laughs> what? Holy shit. Arsenic? Sufficient. Uh, atropine? Or atropine? Sufficient. Belladonna? Gone stale. Cyanide? Sufficient. Hemlock? Running low. Jimson and weed require a new source. Well, I don't know about Jimson uh, weed or atropine or belladonna, but I know arsenic, cyanide, and I think hemlock too are definitely poisons. So this would appear to be a list of poisons. What have you been up to? Poisons. Better make sure I wash my hands when I get out of here. No kidding. Is this... 
Is this one readable? Are these stealable? No. I think that's readable. Yeah. Lady Elizabeth's Journal, page 52. This house is not safe for me. My spy tells me Julian, uh, Julian is planning a bloody return. I spend my evenings in the city to avoid this, but still I go armed day and night with blade and venom. If necessary, I can flee at a moment's notice with the little treasure <clears throat> I acquired from the armory. I guess that would be the Gilded Helm? Until then, I have this sham marriage to make with a sham husband. I care not which of them it is now. The arsenic will do for either. Ember touched me again today, just on the hand, but it was horrible. Interesting letter from Lady Warwick. Is that pronounced Warwick or Warwick? I think it's Warwick, but it looks like it's Warwick. Anyway. Ember's suffering must be exquisite. Watching his only friend slowly waste away to nothing. Better than any poison I could deliver. Wow, okay, there's no love between them. That's for sure. Alright, what is this? Dearest Lizzie. Oh god, he's calling her Lizzie. I think he feels differently about the marriage than she does. May I still call you that? I remember it from when you were just a child. I'm writing to see if you know of any tincture to help our poor afflicted Clive. He is wasting away, barely speaking or moving, staring at a piece of treasure from his last excursion. The doctors are of no help, and I fear the worst. Little as I wish to, I must beg your help. If not for yourself, do it for Lord Ember. Okay, so this is not from Lord Ember. Okay. Clive's dear friend and your, dare I say, betrothed, or for the memory of your dear mother, whom I do remember fondly, yours, Lady Eleanor Warwick. Okay, so this is actually not his chamber. No, this is her chamber. Lord Ember's chamber is... through... Whatever that is, a bunch of pillars? Somewhere downstairs, I guess? I'm looking for any, maybe, hidden levers or anything like that? No, I think that's it. <laughs> Let me see if I can climb up, climb up here. Oh yeah. Good old grappling. Hold on just a second. I want to know what happens when I drop a body on the stairs. Will it flop down? <laughs> sort of. It kind of sprung about. It's like they have spring-charged limbs. Oh, these would be the pillars, yeah. Okay. I know he turns around, yep. Alright, I'm not sure about his patrol path. So let me hang out here for a second. Drink some tea and watch him. Hmm. Lovely warm... Oh, he's coming back. Oh, oh shit! I thought I heard a second set of footsteps. Who is that? Wake up there! Get the sill? Yes, sir. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting 14 FPS. Wow. That's a new low. Alright, I don't know who the hell that guy is. 
But I believe you're gonna come back hey, this way, that's right? Not funny. I can't see. You really, you can't see? You're holding a torch, you imbecile. Bless you. I need to get the fuck out of here. Cause that guy's coming back. Nothing. Still, good thing I checked. You never know. I uh wake up there, imbecile. Yes, your lordship. If I hadn't taken an oath. <laughs> Is that that person's job just to walk around and tell the guards to wake up even when they're already awake and call them imbeciles? <sighs> okay, here we go. Whoa. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it sounded like he liked it. Like, what is this strange se oh sensation? Oh, this feels nice. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Someone needs to design a better torch, I'm sure. Oof. I'll take that, thank you. Alright. This is my first man pile in Thief 3. Tis a glorious thing, yes. It seems that person's legs are just accepting this person's legs. They are joined together. I'm guessing the key is to this. Maybe not. I just realized something. This map is actually even more useless than the ones in Thief 1 and 2. The ones in Thief 1 and 2, at least... Or, actually, I don't know if it was like that in Thief 1, but in Thief 2, it told you what area, what general area you were in on the map. This one doesn't even tell you that. Castle Front. This can't be the Castle Front. It's gotta be here, right? Isn't this, like... Eh, I don't know. Whatever. Hopefully these are his chambers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are his chambers. It looks very, very royal. Alright, I think I've got free reign of the place. Take that. Ooh, what is that? Oops. Wonder if anyone will pay more for a matched set. I burned my feet in the fire. Is that can I read that? No. Uh uh. Three percent, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm guessing the trigger mechanism is probably, let me guess, pulling a book? Hmm, I hear someone out there. Just in case they can see me. Hmm. 
Alright. Don't see anything. Let me go read that note. Or, well, book. Lord Ember's journal. The opal is what's important. Julian will take s will stop at nothing to take it from me, and I cannot become complacent. Even if he subverts the guards, they cannot get by the new portcullis. I alone control the switch, here by my desk where I am safe. Okay, so it's by his desk. This castle is rotten with conspiracy. Were it not for dear Elizabeth, I'm sure I would lose my mind. Even the portrait of Mortimer the Mad stares down at me from the stairwell balcony as if to name me unworthy of the opal. Those eyes! Surely Arlick was the greatest of the old masters. I ought to guard it more carefully. It's worth all the other paintings combined. Wait, which one's worth all the other paintings combined? Mortimer the Mad. The Stairwell Balcony. Stairwell Balcony. Well, there's... Aren't there more than one stairwell? I don't know. Maybe I'll find it. So quiet here tonight. Since Lord Warwick died, there's no one left to talk to. My only friend. Why did you waste away staring at that abominable cursed stone? I'm certain there was some witchery involved. I hear they have donated it to the Wildstrom Museum and good riddance. Alright, by his desk. By his desk. Oh, hello, torch. Is this the turny type of torch? Yes, it is. Alright. Now I just gotta get back there, right? Mm hmm. Alright. To do that, I know I need to go back through the mist. Well, that's not the painting. The stairwell balcony. Well, if I see it, I see it. If I don't, who cares? I've already got 63% of all the loot in the level, so I think I'm doing pretty good. And I'm guessing once I get the opal, it's probably going to get me to like 90% or something like that. Unless that's not counted in the loot for the level, I'm not really sure. Alright, stairwell balcony. Well, this is a stairwell. But is there a balcony? That is the question. I don't think there is a balcony out here. This is just her chamber. Yeah, what the hell? Alright, it's gotta be another balcony. Actually, I have no idea what that is, and I can't see it. I really can't make it out from here. A precious stone, or a coin? Eh, fuck the painting. Mm, that's where I came from. I want to know what's over here. Oh, I think that just leads to where I was about to be in a few seconds. Alright, I'm done. Let's make a save. Let's stop recording. Do you want to leave and enter Castle Front? Yes. Here we go.
<laughs> it's, it's interesting. There's... Alright, so it looks like there's a skybox and then there's multiple layers of clouds. Moving at different rates. Which is pretty cool looking, but the funny thing is... The upgraded skyboxes in Thief 1 and 2 were actually better than this. That's kind of funny. And also, who the hell will design a tower that has a top like a witch's hat? It's not even straight. It looks like a bent witch's hat. That's just weird. Okay, I don't think there's... Music just got kind of creepy, but I don't think there's anyone around here. I believe I beat them all senseless. Ooh. I think that might be the painting. That's got... Yeah, yep, that's the painting. But how do I get up? God, this map is useless. I wish I had a rope arrow. Although, I think it's all stone, so I probably couldn't shoot it into anything. Hmm, I don't think this leads around. No. That is... Uh, unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> funny thing is... The fact that I have to restart the recording for every time I want to load my save game means that I'm going to be a lot more cautious. Seriously, how do you get up there? Is there even a walkway to get up there? Can I... <laughs> Could I jump and grab it in midair? Oh my god, that'd be so cheap. Okay, I'm going to try it a couple more times just because it'd be really funny if I can do it. No. Okay, I might be able to make this jump. <laughs> Ooh, careful. Ooh, nice. Oh, and there's a secret little passage. Hello. Lord Mortimer Rutherford the Mad. Painted by Master Orlick. How much are you worth? Quite a bit. Alright, where does this go? Oh, it's just hidden behind a box? Alright, well, I'm just gonna go down this way. Yeah, I think all of this is cleared out. Okay, the basement. I was in the basement, but I don't remember exactly how I got there. Where the hell is that? Oh, shit. Well, I know that's not where I need to go, because I didn't have to go through a transition to get to the basement. So, let's go a different way. Let's go this way. Nope. Ooh, ooh, I think it was this way. Yeah, it's down here. Okay. <laughs> Hello. There it is. to something, and yeah, I've already got 82% of the loot, but before I grab this, uh, the opal, I will be right back. 
All right, I am back. Let's take this precious stone. So this is what they all wanted. Well, it's better off with me. Okay, last thing to do is get the hell out, right? Leave the castle grounds the same way you came in, okay? Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, the entrance is somewhere this way, I think. Uh, once again, that's totally useless. I think I'm alone here, so I'm gonna run. Ooh, hello. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, that's right, this isn't the way I came in, but this leads to the front yard. What's that then? Oh shit, you heard something. Hopefully he doesn't investigate. And he's not. Okay. Whew. I'm good. Uh, nothing. <laughs> not even sure I heard anything at all. Alright, well this is... Actually, I think this is exactly where I started, but I guess I have to go to the gate up here, maybe? Like, right here? There we go. You're about to end the mission. Do you want to continue? Yes. The bloodline Opal's mine now, and based on the size of this thing, I'd say it was worth it. But something tells me this Lady Elizabeth character had her own plans for the Rutherfords. I'd better get the Opal to Perry soon. He can cut it into smaller stones that are easier to move. And we'll both make a tidy profit. Huh. That's really clever. I never even thought about that. You could cut a big stone into a bunch of small stones, and no one would know that it was the original stone. Huh. Okay, I think I can press continue. I think that's just going to play a movie, because this isn't actually the start of a new mission. So I don't think this will crash. Please don't crash. So, here we go. Okay, it crashed. So, if that crashed, then what was it loading? I don't know. But, let's go right back in. Alright, I'm loading up the game. I'm going to bring you with me. So, while you're staring at a black screen, how you doing? You having a good day? Having a good night? Tell me about your day. What did you do? Hmm. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, that's so cool. Really? Huh. Tell me more. Keep talking. I'm listening. <laughs> okay, here we go. And we're back. Alright. And, well, now we're about to stop. So let me stop the recording. There we go, press continue. Alright, so what is it loading? What are you loading, game? It's loading something. Obviously it's not a movie. Here we go. Residential districts in the center of town, near the river. It's not wall-to-wall -wall nobility like Haldale, but there's money here, if you know where to look. South Quarter's where I live, so I guess this is home. As long as I behave myself, I can go anywhere and do as I please, and the residents won't give me any trouble. But the city watch will. The entire force knows what I look like, and they'll attack me on sight. If I don't stay out of the way of their patrols, I might be looking at some jail time, or worse. First thing I need to do is see my fence, Heartless Perry. His shop is down in Black Alley. I'm bringing Perry the bloodline Opal. I don't want to hang on to this stone any longer than I have to. Something about that job has left me with a bad <clears throat> feeling. That's really interesting. So... 
In the original Thieves, you never, as far as I can remember, you never ever had to really visit your fence to give him any of your loot. That's just something that happened in the background in between missions. But in this case, I'm actually bringing something I stole from a previous mission to my fence as the mission itself. I actually like that. Hold on just a second. I want to make sure I absorb all of this because I was kind of distracted by the starting of a new recording. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Given that I just loaded something, I don't think it was just loading the screen, so I'm assuming I can press continue without it crashing. Okay, yes. Wait, this is... This is my home, isn't it? It's not much, but it's home. <laughs> yes, it is. Sweet, I... You know, I think in one of the thieves that I played... Which one was it? I think it was Thief 2. I think I did get to see my home once. But it was very briefly. Yeah, I'm actually liking a lot of the things in Thief 3. I'm surprised. Getting to visit your fence, getting to be in your home. Can I eat this bread? Nope. Alright, let's see what I have in my apartment. I can pick the lock. Why? Wouldn't I have the key to my own... Whatever this is? Wall safe thing? Why would I need to pick my own lock? I don't... I don't get it. Wait, what? I just picked it. Did I not just pick it? Okay, stop, stop, stop. How do I get out of this? Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but apparently I'm not supposed to pick it. It's the unpickable lock. Or rather, the pickable lock, but it regenerates right after picking it. Wait a minute, I can take that box? Wouldn't the candle just fall? <laughs> okay. Uh -uh. Yeah, let me spruce this place up a bit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -uh. uh -uh. uh -huh. That is totally not a fire hazard at all. Remember, kids, only you can prevent forest fires. Or house fires. Any secrets in the fireplace, as there were many a time in Thief 1 and 2? Nope. Ooh, flash bomb. And broadhead arrows, which I don't use. Man, they're really overloading me on these flash bombs. I really don't need this many. I heard someone. But it's only the guards that are looking for me, right? So if it's not a guard, then I don't need to run from them? Oh, it's just you. Ooh. At first I thought somebody had broken in or something. Well, good evening. How can I relax with taffers like that around? Good evening to you too, sir. Hmm. <laughs> I can break into the landlords. What are you doing down there? He's moving away from me, that's what? Okay. I think I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. What do you have in here, landlord? Oh god, that is a complex lock. Oh shit. Stop, 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 stop. I wasn't doing anything. I'm, I'm just, I'm right here. 
<sighs> I'm just resting against the wall. Don't mind me. Okay. Got it. Almost one more. Oh shit. I, whoops. Actually, he can't see me. I wonder if he could hear me. Come on. There we go. And... Right there? Right there? Yes! Oh, there's gotta be some good things in here. Let me just close this door. Hello there. More broadhead arrows, which I don't care about. That looks like it's worth a good... good amount. Okay. Alright, so we've got a little bit of loot and something to read. What have we got here? Journal of Z Wicket. Tuesday. Finally got the rent money from Garrett, the tenant across the hall. Just in time, too. But taff it all, these payments are draining me dry. Why is he blackmailing me? I'm not a rich man. I put the rent money in with the other coins I've managed to gather up and deposited them as the blasted lowlife instructed underneath an old sewer grate down in Black Alley. I can't take much more. Making payments every single day like this. Wait, so I'm draining the landlord? I mean, I'm, I'm blackmailing the landlord? God, I'm a dick. Well, depending on what I'm blackmailing him with. Maybe he's a piece of shit. It's kind of strange, though. I'm reading a journal of someone I'm blackmailing, and this is... This journal is telling me where to find where to find the money that my character should already know where it is because my character is the one blackmailing. So it's it's like I'm discovering something I already did but didn't know about, which is bizarre. That's really strange. That creates a disconnect between what my character knows and what I know, which is kind of strange because I'm kind of the character, but I'm kind of not. It's I don't know. It's weird. It makes my brain hurt to think about. Let's just say I have amnesia, all right? Or Garrett has amnesia, and I just rediscover something he forgot. Maybe he got hit on the head during one of the jobs. Yes, that's what I'm going to go with. All right, underneath an old sewer grate down in Black Alley. All right, let me write that down just in case. Uh, sewer grate. Black Alley. Okay. Too bad Mr. Wicket has to pay money to his blackmailer. Too bad for his blackmailer that I know where the drop is. Wait. Wait a minute, too bad for... Too bad for his blackmailer I know where the drop is? Wait, I'm not the blackmailer? Hold on, did I read that wrong? Finally got the rent from Garrett. Finally got the rent from Garrett. Just in time, too. But taff it all, these payments are draining me dry. Why is he blackmailing me? Okay, that's weird. He mentions... The only name he mentions in this entire thing... Is my name, and then he says, Why is he blackmailing me, and I'm not supposed to assume that I'm the one blackmailing him? What? I, okay. So when he says, Why is he blackmailing me, apparently he's not referring to me. Okay. Well, that's confusing. Hey, dude, what's up? Fine day today, isn't it? I, I mean, night. Bless you. I just sneezed as well. Hmm. And who lives here? There's no clash. Try to relax. Relax. You seem tense, man. Hold on. Let me give you a, a shoulder massage. 
No, I, I don't want to beat him. You're telling me this? Really, this game doesn't allow me to give him a soldier a, a sol a shoulder massage. This game is so unrealistic. The only thing I want to do is massage people, but it won't even let me. What the hell? I'm uninstalling this game, and I'm giving it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it two and a half out of f seven stars. Yes, that's what I'll do. I could try to get in there, but I don't have much time. No, no, there's no way. It's not worth it. I'm out. I'm good. I've got enough money. Alright, I'm about to go through the cloud, so bloop. Do you wish to leave this area and enter South Quarter? Yes, please. Loading. Loading. Please stand by. Loading. And done. City. Obey the law, and there's no need to worry so about said, the residents. But I can't read. The city so watch says, are the guys who want to lock me up, though. Cor uh, Gotta keep my eye out for them. Quarantine. Oh, no. Same thing happened to me. I can read so I could see for myself. I asked why, but the city watch wouldn't give me the time of day. What do you think? Some kind of plague? That's what I thought. But then... I was talking to Jesse down over the tavern, and he says that some kind of ship come into the docks. Something wrong with it. The quarantine is so that... And this is Jesse who said it, so take it for what it's worth. That otherwise the undead would be everywhere. <gasps> e everywhere? I, I wonder if Natalie is okay. She lives over in the docks near the Bloody Ears Tavern. I know. And Grace O'Malley, too. Mind you, Jesse could be wrong. Sure, it, he's been wrong before. That's, that's right. Everything's probably all right. Yeah, the city watch is just being careful. Doing this quarantine thing is a precautionary type step. Yeah. That means everything is not okay and something's horribly wrong. Foreshadowing. Also, I've just now realized that the subtitles in this game are totally messed up. They're just like completely out of time with what's happening. So, sorry about that. Hopefully you can hear what they're saying well enough. Because the subtitles look half useless. Alright, well I guess I can walk here. I mean, run. I don't see any guards and that's just a normal citizen. So, I'm going to keep an eye out for any special places that I can jump to and loot. Alright, let's look at a map. What's that bloody handprint? I know Black Alley is where that sewer grate is with the drop-off, but is that indicating the drop-off, or is that indicating where I am? Okay. So, the squirrely things, I guess, mean the mist? Like a new level zone? So that's my place, that's the fountain. So if I go straight and then take a right and another right, I'll go to the black alley, which is where I want to go. But... Yeah, hold on. Oh, that's right, yeah, now I don't need to get on my compass, so this is south, right? Wait. Which one? Uh, I, I came from here, right? Yeah. So I'm looking south. Yeah, okay. So it's... This way. It's a little bit hard for me to interpret this map to what's in the real world, because this map, everything's like straight in this map. You know, just a big box, but in reality, it's not at all like that. But yeah, south. So before I do that, let me just look around here a little bit. What have we got? Hello? Anyone home? Okay, it's not even locked. Huh. Let me sneak around a little bit, see if there's anything here to steal. Huh. What's in here? What 
Ooh, this looks promising. Looks like there's some room up there. And there's this little walkway which goes where? Oh, okay, just right under the stairs. Alright, let's go up. I really wish it showed me where I was. Okay, anything up here? Okay, this place is entirely useless. Goodbye. Say, people don't find it strange that I'm holding my blackjack out, do they? Uh, no, apparently they don't. Oh, it's with the hood. Oh, it's, um, it's the newest fashion. Haven't you heard? I just realized I forgot to change the difficulty setting. Oh, well, I'll do it for the next mission. Okay, now it's time to go south. Let's go to the black alley. Holy shit, that's a big beetle. Jesus. This thing looks like it could chop your arm off with its mandibles. Okay, um... Morning. So I think I'm looking... At that, right? I need to go straight. Yeah, straight and then take a right. No guards, are there? Wait, is that a guard? I think that's a guard. That's a guard. Yes. Hmm. Gonna wait for him to look the other way. There we go. Blow that out. Oh dear. I just realized I just stole a bunch of money from someone who runs a stall and sells bread and fish or whatever that is. In other words, I just stole from a commoner. I'm a fucking dick. Those are the people that need the money the most. I should be stealing from rich people. Those are City Watch. You can tell by their insignia. They're the guys I have to look out for. Alright, so you go down here and then you take another right. Right, this is the first right, isn't it? No. I'm confused. I, I think I need to go this way. Yeah, there's the handprint. Okay. You know, I hope that bloody handprint isn't actually made out of blood, because if it is, then I probably shouldn't be following it. Right, I don't think there's going to be anyone here. This is Black Alley. The red handprint is the mark of illegal establishments. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is that... the drop. <laughs> well, that... Wasn't as spectacular a drop as I thought it would be. Say, where am I actually going? Oh, Heartless Perry is actually in Black Alley. Perfect. I don't think there's any city watch here. Hey, what's up, dude? Is this Heartless Perry? Ah, sir. Welcome. Is this your first time visiting us? Take your time. Peruse. Enjoy. Shopping should never be a rushed experience. Interesting. We hope you find everything you need. With this quarantine, we're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. Something in particular you're looking for? The name's Thomas, if the sir needs anything. Well, at the moment, I'm hoping you shut up and please stop talking. 
We hope you find everything oh. you need. Oh my god, shut up. quarantine. Shut We're cut off up. from our regular suppliers for a while. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fucking kill you. Fuck you. He's gonna start talking in like two seconds, right? Again? Okay. Are we looking for uh. anything special tonight, sir? <sighs> Alright, why does it say I have zero gold? Didn't I just loot a bunch? Do I need to go to Heartless Perry to get my money? Ah, sir. You don't seem to have any cash. Perhaps you should go okay. to Heartless Perry. Yes, 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 shut up. Oh my god, why does he talk every two seconds? That's terrible. That's a evening. terrible idea. Good evening. I'm guessing that's Heartless Perry's place. Because it looks like it's a place where you unload your cart full of illegal goods. Garrett, Taff, didn't expect to see you. Haven't you heard? Lady Elizabeth from Rutherford Castle is after you. She was in here with some goons, asking a bunch of questions about that opal. They did a job on me. See the bruises? Had to give them a name. I guess before I knew that I'd given him yours. Which is the truth, ain't it? Anyway, uh, I'd watch your back, eh, pal? Uh, about the opal. No way I can risk taking it now, but I know someone who can. A fence in Stone Market. Black Market Bertha. If I were you, I'd go to Stone Market to see her now, before those goons find you. A anyway, I can still give you cash for whatever other loot you stole from the castle. Business as usual, and uh, no hard feelings, eh, Garrett? I mean, uh, who's the one all beaten up? <laughs> 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 yeah. No hard feelings. Well, pretty soon you're not going to have any feelings. My own fence gave me up. What a dick. All right. Well, this is... This is another interesting change from the first two thieves, and I actually also really like this one, so... It, it seems like you're much more involved oh, in... I gotta say, <sighs> I'm still hurting all over from that roughing up I got. Please don't tell me every single place I go to sell and buy stuff is gonna have an NPC that constantly talks. Like I was saying, don't interrupt me, you fuck. It seems like um, you're a lot more involved in Thief 3 than you are in the first two with what you do. Like, you know, in the first two Thieves, you just stole stuff and you instantly got the money and you never saw your... You never really saw your fence. But in this case, you know, you start in your home. You have to actually traverse the city and leave your home. You have to actually go to your fence and individually sell everything you stole. That's actually a really in good idea. In case you don't remember, I don't deal in that flowery, frou-frou stuff. Nah. If you want to unload artwork, you should try the fence down in the docks. Her name's Dahlia. How's that for flowery? Yep, she'll take any of that artsy stuff off your hands. Well, for once, he actually said something that was useful. Thank you. But still, I guess I'll have to save my thoughts for after I sell all this crap, because he's going to keep talking. Sure, I got a buyer who'd be interested in this merchandise. Okay. Pays top dollar, too. Uh, sell all. I need to get the hell out of here before he drives me insane. Yes, 1600. Goodbye. Oh, thank God. Ooh, look at that. How do? He saw me. How do I steal it? Huh. I don't know how to steal it. Anyway, like I was saying, and now I'm actually free to say it, I think it's really interesting that you're getting more involved in the stuff you're stealing. You know, it's not just like it's magically being sold behind the scenes and you never get to interact with that part of your life. You're actually doing some of the things you know the thief has to do on a daily basis. That is, fence the stuff that he steals. You know, it doesn't just magically turn into money. You have to actually sell it. I think that's really cool. All right, now let's buy something. Before this guy talks my ear off, I'm going to buy stuff as fast Take as possible time, and get look out. Around. Here at the well-equipped thief, we pride ourselves on stocking everything a person like yourself might need. Okay. Ah. 
I'm Thomas, the proprietor here. We're here to help if you need anything. Are we looking for anything special tonight, sir? All right, I think I'm good. Got a bunch more water arrows. Okay, so, you know what I was saying before about how one of the things I think they could do to make the loot, uh, getting the loot more important, is if you really, truly needed it to get your equipment for the next mission. Because in the first two thieves, you basically, you're you basically provided with everything you could possibly need. So anything you buy on top of that, which is like icing on the cake. But if I'm understanding this correctly, it looks like the loot you have actually is persistent. Like, if you have 20 water arrows at the beginning of a mission, and you use 10 of them, so you have 10 left, then you have 10 water arrows, and you're going to not need to buy more for the next mission. So if I'm reading this correctly, I don't think you're actually given equipment for the missions. If so, then that's a great change. Because that makes getting loot really important. Alright. So, uh, Lady Elizabeth. Alright, so I need to get to the stone market. Yeah, I need to get a stone market, but I can also sell the painting to, I don't remember her name, someone in the docks. Yeah, I'm going to go to the docks first, actually. Let's do that. Alright, so now I'm here, right? No, now I'm here, and I need to go south, which is this way. Where does that go? Oh shit, there's a guard. What is that? Pavlok Prison. Oh, that's the, I guess, the symbol. Okay, so I guess the symbols actually designate something you can go into? Maybe? Or like, eventually? I guess since they don't have a symbol, you know, one of these purple symbols next to it, that means you can't go there now. Yeah, honestly, if I saw beetles like that, I would start freaking out. Look at that thing. That's scary. Ooh, what is this? This is something I can't open. That's what that is. Alright, anything over here? No. Alright, it should be along here, right? Going north. Wait, north. Wait, this is north? What? No, that's Pavlok Prison, right? Unless... Oh, this goes to the docks. Yeah, that's the gate to the docks, right there. I wonder, is getting up against the wall actually... Does that put you under more cover than being crouched next to it? Hold on. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm gonna take this guard out.
Whew. I almost missed that. I kind of hit him in the upper back. But I just got him. Ooh, where does that go? Yeah, where am I? I'm going up here. Okay, so that goes to the well. Oh, hey, what's up? Okay, well, I'm curious what the well is, and I'm curious what's in here. Huh. Alright, so before I go to the docks, let me see what's in here, let me check that door, and then let me check the well. Anyone in here? Hello? I'm st I seem to be stuck on some pipes. Excuse me just a second. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Oh, wait, I think this, I think this means I don't have to pick the lock. I hope there's no one in here, because that... Because I'm in full brightness. I right, can't read that. Yeah, I guess um, if you can read them, they're open. The books. Ooh. Let's see if there's anything upstairs. There is. There's someone up here. Good day, sir. Yes, wait right there for me. Hold on. And... <coughs> Go to sleep. It's okay. Have a nap. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh, Garrett. I say uh-huh. 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 There you go. He is gonna wake up with some back problems. Have fun with that. Ooh. Hmm, anything up here? Nope. And I appear to be sliding off. Okay. That's cool. <sighs> I stubbed my toe. Alright, got that, got that. I believe that was the only thing up here, correct? Correct. Okay, let's leave. Time to check the well and then go to the docks. <sighs> it's gonna leave the way that I came in. Actually, I don't need to sneak about. There's no guards here. Oh, shit. Okay, there's a replacement guard. Well, it sounds creepy, and it's marked on the map, but there doesn't appear to be anything I can do with it. So, time to go to the docks. Now, where's that guard at? And he's gone. Okay. What does it say? No passing quarantine area. By order of the city watch, no inquiries, please. Visitors, uh, violators will be prosecuted. Well, shit. To the docks. Well, I guess I'm not getting in there anytime soon. In that case, it's to Stone Market. So let's go up here to the left. Right now I'm looking out here, so then to the right. Right, that's my place. Yep, so Stone Market should be right. Oh, okay. There she is. Art. Do all the women in this game look anorexic? I mean, she's a fucking stick figure compared to the men. The men look normal. She looks... Inhuman. She looks like she would break in a stiff wind. Like she would just snap. 
like the weakened Looks stem like of a Lady plant. Lady Elizabeth is here, with a couple of thugs. Did you see that fence wince? I only had to hit him three times before he started spilling his guts. Couldn't wait to give us Garrett's name. It was my knife at his throat that made him talk to Taffer. Heartless Perry, huh? He wasn't so tough. I want to go back and rough him up some more. Shut up, you fools. The whole town can hear you. Beg pardon, Lady Elizabeth. The money is ready. Don't dally. I haven't got all night. Taff. <laughs> we wasn't being that loud. And if she's a noble, then I must be quite a gent. I'll be glad when this job is over. Let's go. Beating on Perry was fun, but it's the money that counts. And I don't want to give that witch time to change her mind. The money better be right. I'm bringing my knife, just in case. Hold on, you taffer. We can't go all at once. Who'd guard the gate? Uh, we gotta go up one at a time. That way the other two can keep a lookout for Garrett or anything suspicious. Make sure no one, and I do mean no one, gets through our barricade until the lady's opal is back in her hands. Else why would she pay, huh? All right, all right. Don't go all bossy on us. All right. I'm looking for alternative pathways. Where did the lady go? Hold on, let me put this out. Got something stuck in my throat. Actually, might be able to sneak past him in this darkness here. Might be enough. Ooh, get away from me. Good to see you. Get lost. Get lost? What? Get lost? They're working together. What the hell? Ooh, now's my chance. Where's that guy going? Alright, come on, turn around. I could knock him out, but uh, I don't want to. I just want to sneak past him. I think the other one would notice if, if his partner just suddenly went missing. I do want to steal that, though. How do I... How do I steal money from people? It doesn't seem to be lighting up. Okay, well... He's not turning around. Oh, wait, 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 here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure when I'm in full darkness they shouldn't be able to see me. We're about to find out. <sighs> okay. Aren't they supposed to trade off? Shouldn't there be one here and one going back there? Instead, my problems have just doubled. Okay. <laughs> I actually might be able to sneak past him. They don't seem to want to move. Alright. Oh my god, that actually worked. Whew. Whoa. Give me a break.
I agree. <laughs> hey, bug. How you doing? Please don't chop my leg off. Oh, shit. Alright, let's take these both out. Because he's looking right at me. Alright, it's time to venture forth into the mysterious blue mist. Two stone market. Alright, stop the recording. Do you wish to leave this area and enter Stone Market Plaza? Yes, please. Or plaza, yeah, it's plaza, not plaza. Loading. I guess I could read the little bit of text that shows up in the loading screen. Beware the Age of Darkness. Uh, never mind. And now here I am in Stone Market. This district's known for commerce and corruption, with plenty of both for everybody. Most people come here for the stores, but I tend to do my shopping after everything is locked up for the night. There's the clock tower, one of the tallest buildings in the city, a good landmark day or night. And finally, the Stone Market Plaza. More vendors, more people. No doubt the City Watch will be keeping an eye out for pickpockets like me, though. Being a thief is never as easy as it sounds. Anyway, it's time for me to find this Bertha character and get rid of the Opal once and for all. I hope Perry was right about her. I keep getting surprised by these, like, mission briefing screens. They're showing up at unexpected times. Like, I didn't think it would show up just there. But it did. Big Bertha's place is marked on my map with the red handprint. All right, I came in. I believe I was in South Quarter, right? Yeah, there's no way I'm here, because then I'd be right next to where she is, which would be far too easy. Okay, so I was in South Quarter. There's a the docks that I did not go down to. There's Stone Market. Okay. Yep, so go past the tavern. Go past the church and get to her place. Alright. Yeah, I mean, look at all these level transitions. They definitely had to pare the level size down to, I'm guessing, to make it fit into the memory of whatever console it was released on. I think it was the first Xbox that it came out on. Which is a shame. That's, that is a big... Um, What's the right word? I'm not sure what the right word is for that, but anyway, it, that's a big thing that I don't like that they've changed. Because that was one of the greatest things about the first two Thieves, is how incredibly open the levels were. And I, I don't mean like labyrinthian and maze-like like they were in the first game. You know, that's just bad level design, but I just mean they're so large and there were no loading screens within them. Like, they were epic, but these are these are freaking tiny. Which is unfortunate. But, anyway, I'm actually going to end this episode here. So, yeah, I'm very glad I, well, not solved my technical issue, but at least improved it to the point where the game is now playable. And I'm liking a lot of the design decisions and changes that they made in Thief 3. I'm surprised, like... Uh, just to name some things, I'm sure I'll forget a bunch. The fact that the compass is combined with the light gem, that's great. Um, the fact that you actually have to fence your equipment is great. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, the, the fact that you seem to have... It seems like it's actually important to buy equipment now. That's great. Um, what else is there? Well, obviously it's better looking. It's newer. It's got nice dynamic shadows, which is great. Um, I know there's more but I can't think of it right now. Oh yeah, the lockpicking minigame. Even though I usually don't like minigames, I actually really enjoy it. So yeah, there's a lot I like about this. So I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.